I want to demonstrate how I can use FreeCAD uh, to analyze the possibility uh, of movements of parts. We have two gears. These are not perfect gears and uh, I can rotate them a little bit and now I have a collision and it's also possible to rotate into the other direction and there is another uh, collision too. So uh, now I want to rotate both of them and I use for the animation a path. This is the path and we have here a coordinate system where uh, the x axis is the angel of the gray gear, this one, and the other axis is the rotation angel of the green one and I let it run. I start the manager and first we go this way and you see sometime here are collisions and sometime the movements are possible and this is the line in the coordinate system and I have computed here areas where collision occur. So when the yellow cube crosses such an area then we will have a collision and how we can avoid collisions uh, we can look into the diagram and can draw passes without collisions. This is such a pass. And now I want to change this the animation. I substitute the green pass, the first the green pass with the yellow pass with no collision and I run the manager you see here the curve and you see here the movement of the gears Here are some places where the collision, the nearby is very effective. So let's go here. You see here in this zone, in this zone, the distance is very small. And here the distance between the parts is large. Okay, and we have a sim, sim, uh, the same situation here. Look at this distance, and once again, here small distances between the gears. Okay, and now we want to look at the next case. A red pass. In this case, we have uh, collisions here and here and here, and I simulated two. I only have to change one pass by another one and restart the animation. I do it by hand so it's enough time to see the movement of the control point 
in the diagram and here now the collision both parts are collided and here the collision is finished and here the next collision will come this is the place and the collision is over and here the last situation so the task to find a collision free way is uh, the task to find a bus inside of this diagram which does not intersects with one of these lines.